Hello guys, come on in. This is Deb with Art and Grace, and we are hanging out on Cheryl's page, MNC Treasures, so you are not in the wrong spot. Don't leave. We are helping Mike and Cheryl and helping the page today, giving her time to rest. So come on in. Let me know where you're watching from. I'm getting her page pulled up on the iPad so I can see her comments. Let us see if you guys will remember what you do today is going to help Miss Cheryl. So go ahead, give emojis, do all of the sharing that you normally do, all the things for her so that we can help her page just keep on going as usual. Hi, Sydney. First comment I see. Let's see here. I hope you guys are coming in and maybe my comments are just slow getting here. There is Deborah. Hi, and Barbara. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Liz. How are you today? How is your work day, friend? So I'm just showing you guys a few of the ATCs I received in the mail today. Um, aren't they the cutest? So while y'all are coming in, say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Many of you will probably be new to me. And again, my name is Deb with Art and Grace. Just here to help our sweet, sweet friend. Uh, let her get, you know, surely she's asleep and resting. I'm so so grateful this part of her journey is over and um, thank you guys for caring about her and for being here to help her page hi kendra hello deborah hi michelle yes ma'am absolutely i i don't know i tell you she has been on my mind literally like i feel like it's been every minute of the day today it's just been so strong and and i hope that 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 i hope she feels our prayers I'm sure she does. So you guys keep it up. She, you know, she's going to need that long term. This is not just a one day thing. So if, if anybody's new to Cheryl and you don't know, she did have a very major surgery today and, um, she is recovering. So thank you for being here. Oh, thank you, Denise. Yes, ma'am, Donna. Absolutely. Oh, Jerry, it's my, my pleasure. She is one of the sweetest ladies and you guys know that. So, um, I'm more than happy to help. She's got lots of people lined up to help. In fact, more than she needs. You know, she had so many offers and, uh, she's going to want to come back. I know as soon as she can. So we'll let everybody help her as long as we can. You know, you can't keep her down. And so, um, we'll do that. And then when she's ready to come back, then we'll step aside and give it back. But we sure are honored to help our friend. And I know you guys are too. That's why you're here. So thank you. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Deborah. Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming in. Hi, Brenda. Hello, guys. I'm sorry if I've missed anybody, but I want to get right to this so that you guys can go and support other people too. But but I know, Miss Cheryl, you know her, guys. She is going to read these comments. So give her all the love and all the support. And Mike as well. You know, Mike is um, caretaker right now. And that's hard on him, I'm sure. We know. We've all been there. So we just want to give them lots of love. Lots of love. Lots of prayers and good wishes. Okay, so what I'm going to show you is a couple of things. I'm going to show you how to paint something really pretty, but very easy. And also how we could make this into something to give Miss Cheryl. So let me just show you what I'm going to do here. This is how sometimes I will do a batch. If I want to do a lot of these cards, um, you know, I'll do them in a batch like this. So I'll be able to cut out lots of cards with this background. So that's what I'm doing first is just getting some color on my background. Now listen, you use whatever colors you love, but I thought today because her surgery is a breast cancer type surgery, um, we should use pink. So that's what I'm doing. We want to give her lots of hope, lots of faith. And so I'm going to put something under this so that my little brown paper doesn't get just totally messy looking for you guys. Yes, thank you guys. Your husband says you're a bad patient. <laughs> I bet she's a great patient. Can't y'all just imagine? Um, you know, of course she's not going to feel good, but 
that's to be expected and that's why we want to give her so much grace so please please know that if you're messaging her she is not probably going to feel up to answering that right now so just have lots of grace know that she will answer everything when she can uh, we want to give them you know respectful privacy i mean although she is not um, she is talking about it so it's not like it's a secret or anything but let's just continue to pray and lift her up right that's what she needs so i'm getting color on this background here so i can show you what i'll do next but we're going to go right in with the yellow add that here i'm just using a large flat brush because i want to cover a lot of space so if i find i have a vision in my head so i know what i'm going for and i've already created an ATC with this design today so I do know what look I want so that's why you're gonna see me kind of go back and forth with colors but you just choose whatever colors you love or whatever you're wanting to do this for maybe if they have Alzheimer's you'll use a lot of purples or um, I believe autism might be bright colors if I'm you know like primary colors so you can do this same technique for somebody that you're wanting to support or to, you know, send a card to. And I'll tell you one thing, guys, getting these ATCs that I've been getting in the mail like these is the most fun thing I've done in a long time. And I wish, you know, here's the thing is anyone can send one to me. And when you do, I'm sending one of mine back to you. And for anybody that's not sure, an artist trading card that's what I'm call it's ATC is the short because obviously that's a long thing to say but it's an artist trading card you do not have to be like a professional artist anybody can do this I'm showing you one idea right here today where you just put a lot of colors on a background this is watercolor paper so it's holding this paint fantastic and we're just getting our colorful background and then we'll do some things on top so you do not have to have any special skill set. You can do this with your kids or your grandkids and just have fun making a batch of these to give out. Um, artist trading cards started in the 90s, so not all that long ago. And the artist that started it, I cannot remember his name because it's not something that rolls off the tongue, but he did it to encourage everyone to give out art and to share their art and so they're never meant to be sold so you don't want to sell them or ask people to buy them or anything like that they are meant to be shared and and given and exchanged so it's a lot of fun to do that and oh good thank you michelle Yes, Roxy, did that help? Um, just with the artist trading cards, they are two and a half by three and a half. So it's the size of a playing card. Here's one I did the other day, and it's, you can't see the back. Hold on, let me see if I've got one I haven't. I think I've put something on the back of all of mine. I have. Here's one that doesn't. So on the back is your playing card. Of course, these are from Dollar Tree, so they do have the little corners cut, but you can get them on Amazon or anywhere you can get cards and um, they will not be cut. But that doesn't, the cut doesn't bother me, so I use these anyway, or you can do what I'm doing. I'm showing you right now how to use watercolor paper, or you can use mixed media paper and do the same thing. It just needs to be two and a half by three and a half. I have this, let me put this down. I've got this in a little folder to protect them, and then that's what I'm mailing them in. And so, um, but this is just a plain card. I did put down two coats of gesso. It's just a white, well, actually, let me take this back. I took a sander first. I did actually use my gator, not this, but any light sander. This is probably too rough. Hi, Mylon, or Kelby, sorry, I know you're Kelby. And I sanded the card, and that gets rid of that smooth, shiny surface. It's a type of sealer they use. So anyway, sand it lightly, put a couple of coats of gesso, and then you can paint right on it. So that's what we're doing here. Although this is watercolor paper, so we don't have to prep at all. We're just painting right on top of our watercolor paper. All right, so we've got this pretty background. You guys see it? At least I think it's pretty. I hope you guys do. Like I said, I want to keep this light and bright and happy 
And um, this is, I'm going to mail, obviously, one to Sweet Cheryl and Mike. And I encourage you guys to do a card as well. Her address is posted on her page. So, you know, when you go, I think it may be in the About section on her page, but it'll be there. It's a post office box. You just send her a card, a note, an artist trading card, if you wish, you know, anything. Because let me tell you how much this has blessed me to go out every day and find these in my mailbox. I just, I'm serious. It just is amazing to walk out and find something, open it up and see something beautiful. Now, these don't take a lot of time, but to be a blessing to somebody, isn't that awesome? And it doesn't take time or money, really. So I'm going to dry this really fast with my heat tool here. Look at some of your comments. Oh, good, Sydney. Awesome. We have lots of VIPs in the house, I see, already. Have a little break this week. You're, oh, good, Trisha. You've been working so hard. Hello, everybody. If you're coming in as your personal page, let me just say I appreciate that because we are trying to help Cheryl. Cheryl has hit her 10,000. She is monetized. So by coming in as your personal name instead of your business page, that is going to allow her to make a little bit of profit on this, on this video or on any video. So thank you guys for doing that. It's something new that we learned as creators. We did not used to know that, or some may have, but, but most of us did not know that until very recently. Okay, so here's what we've got. Let me grab my little cutter here. And I am going to cut with this thing, but you can definitely use scissors. Don't go out and buy a cutter unless you really need one, you know. Um, you can just use this little cutter. And I'm going to go to three and a half here, line it up. And listen, if it's not exactly perfect, it's okay. You, you do want it to be two and a half by three and a half so that the person can put it into a protector if they want to. That's what I've been doing. These are cards I had already received before today. So if people are sending them in the two and a half by three and a half, they'll slide right in. And that way you can keep them protected. And uh, what, what my plan is, is to use these on my Christmas tree this year. I'll have a tree in here on my wall and hang all of these on it. And on the back, people are putting their name, you know, when they created it, it'll have the date or something like that. So really cool to to have those and be able to use them or whatever, or just to share. Okay, so we did three and a half, so now I need two and a half on this one. But you see how we created a whole batch of the, you know, we can just cut these out and I won't paint all of these here with you live. You'll be bored to tears, but I'm gonna show you how you can do, you know, we'll do a few or something. So there we go. But you can get quite a few out of one sheet of watercolor paper. For this project, I'm using regular cheap watercolor paper from Michaels. This is a Creatology pad. It's probably even in the kids section. I don't know. But it works fine. Now, if you want to do actual watercolor, I don't recommend this pad. It doesn't. It's not going to work well. You'll have much better luck with an Arches, A-R-C-H-E-S watercolor pad. Um, and that's what I highly recommend. But for what we're doing today, this will work fantastic. So here we go. Y'all ready? So I'm going to get out my little palette that we were just using. Hi, Sheila. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you guys for sprinkling this out. You are helping Cheryl today. So please remember, you know, we want to really get this all the places. So if you know of a group that allows public sharing like that, Sprinkle her video out. Let's get her lots of views and all the things and do that all week. She's got creators coming in every day this week. And, uh, you know, we all want to help. And, and you know how Cheryl is. She wants to be here. So she'll be back literally, I believe, by the end of the week if everything goes as planned for her recovery. She, uh, you can't keep her down, guys. Can't keep her down. But we want to give her all the rest she can stand 
Okay, I'm going to grab a small round brush, probably something pretty small this time. Yeah, Trisha, thank you. They, these stars definitely will go to her, not me. So thank you for doing that. We want to be generous and supportive to her and Mike. Okay, I'm going to take that plum color and we're going to do a little center. We're going to do some pretty easy flowers. So what this is how I do, if I'm going to do a batch of these, this is literally what I do. I'll just go through. I've got this plum color, so I'm just going to do all three at once. Just like that. And then coming into my pretty little uh, fuchsia. This is a royal fuchsia. Tapping it into the pink. And then we're going to come and do a pink sunflower. Has anybody ever seen a pink sunflower in real life? Let me know because I thought it was a filter. Somebody put one in our private group the other day. And I, my comment was, that is beautiful, but I'm pretty sure that's a filter. And then somebody else came along and said, no, they actually have pink ones. And I was like, what? How have I never heard or seen of a pink sunflower? Because pink's my favorite color, but I had not. And all we're doing, you see that you're just letting the brush do the work, guys. You're coming around and doing a petal all the way around. Sometimes I like to make some wonky petals, so, you know, let it kind of come around to a weird tip. You know, it doesn't always have to be a perfect, in fact, nothing in nature is perfect, right? We are not perfect, so let it be a little wonky, and we're going to let that one sit here while we go to the next. Well, Trisha, you may be on your own, sister. Thank you for trying. <laughs> Maybe it'll happen later. We do. We want to be generous for them. Um, I know that she's got to be a little, you know, stressed about all this. And so um, sending her cards will be fun. So I do encourage you guys to do that. You can totally buy a store-bought store card. But I, I like to give you guys easy ideas. So if you're new to me, there may be people watching that don't even know who I am. And, and um, I like to give easy kind of whimsical things to paint so that it's not intimidating uh, when I've tried to do fine art it just wasn't me I stressed out and wasn't happy because I couldn't do it and couldn't do it well but then when I started doing this just carefree you know what I call easy art boy you know that's when it just all clicked and I just loved it it's relaxing and, and it actually reduces your stress. So give it a try. If you've ever tried painting and you didn't love it, you might try. Oh, look, let's see. Oh, thank you, Tricia. Never heard of a pink sampler. I know. Well, you should Google it because there, there are some. Oh, Tricia, you are from the sunflower estate and never seen them. I am sure they're like, I don't know if, if it's lab created or what you call it. Probably not lab, but you know, when they create, they mix and I don't know what they do. I know at Texas A&M University, they, they do that with some flowers in that horticulture. I can't say the word department. So I'm sure that it's something that they have created, but they are beautiful. I mean, I would love to have a badge. You're just letting kind of, I just kind of let the colors do what they want. Each petal can be a little different. You see how fast I'm going. I'm not worried about it being perfect or anything like that. By the flower department. <laughs> um, let me go back and see if I miss you. Thank you, Kelvy, for sprinkling. I've uh, sent your first snail mail letter. Oh, that's awesome, Michelle. Two and a half hours from home. Oh, one and a half hours from home for the first time. Yes, girl. Oh, it's so fun checking your mail, isn't it, when you move away like that? So, yeah, you should keep keep it up and maybe even, you know, do something like this with her school colors or something. Is this the one I know? I think the one I know is younger. I don't think she's college age. I'm just coming back. And adding little bits of the pink in here. 
I want to lighten it up a little bit and acrylic paint loves layers so it's just good to do the layers anyway like I said just kind of do one layer set it aside go to the next just letting your brush do the work guys I'm telling you something like that if you get too much of the light pink or you want to darken it up just come back in anywhere you feel like it's too light and just add a little bit of the dark back in you can even add a little um, with that plum kind of add really dark in some places if you want especially up by the base of the flower it would be a little darker but these are fun they don't have to be they don't have to be perfect how's everybody doing today happy monday let us know how you're doing be sure and give any messages you want to to Cheryl. I promise you she'll be reading these comments. Maybe even tonight, knowing her. So go ahead and chat away. Let her know what you're thinking. I'm going to take a flat brush now or a filbert, something like that. Yeah, I'm grabbing a filbert just because it's handy. And I'm going to put some green down here at the bottom. That's all I'm doing. Just getting some green on my brush and swiping it across. I like... Um, kind of this you know rough I don't want it to be perfect but I am going to do like a hill kind of make a hill because she's in Tennessee where there are some hills so we're going to kind of I'm grabbing a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white right on this brush I don't know if y'all can see that but just put it right on there and you can come right in and give that background just a little bit of something something so it's not just a plain green but we're kind of mixing some other colors on there just like that couldn't be easier you guys could not be easier put those rolling Tennessee hills up here yes prayers for speedy recovery Okay, no, the one I know is a dancer, junior in high school. Okay, it's the older sister. Oh, good for her. Well, and I'm sure that's hard for the sister to adjust to. You know, it's kind of, oh, man, you don't realize how much you really enjoy your sibling until they leave. It's a completely different family dynamic. But that will be good for her and and, you know, good for her to have a different place in the house, you know. So just kind of adding something to the bottom there. I hope y'all can see that. Let's do this last one. There are eight natural sunflower colors. Really, Renee? So it is natural. Eight colors. See? Aren't we learning something? I didn't know that. I had no idea there was that many. If you have sprinkled, be sure and let her know because like I said, she'll be reading these comments. I could see her doing it tonight, but even if it's not tonight, she'll read them. And um, sometimes we kind of forget to see who's shared, but if you'll tell her, you know, hey, I sprinkled, she will definitely appreciate that and will help her, you know, just tells Facebook that you're enjoying it and that they need to show more people. Okay, let's take this green. I'm going to move a little bit over here. I'm going to put just a dot of black with it and darken it up. Millie got home-cooked meal. The first thing she said is, will Millie get home-cooked meals? Who's Millie? Oh, Kelly, no problem. Listen, I mean, I can't even let y'all thank me. I'm happy to do it. I know everybody that's going to be here this week is, I think we all just jumped in immediately saying, you just tell me when you need me and I'm there. Like I was totally willing to rearrange my schedule. We love Cheryl. Cheryl is a uh, dear friend and great hearted person. Mike as well. Uh, we love them, love everything they stand for and everything she does so you know we're happy to happy to do it no thanks ever needed for sure give these a little leaf take that same dark color and just put it through these rolling hills a little bit 
just kind of give it a little more something something in there see that and move to the next simple is anybody watching this and thinking okay I can do this this is a painting I can do that's my goal I always love to see that if somebody says I think I can do it or I'm gonna try and then they'll send me a picture then I'm just like in heaven that's what we want we want you guys to try you know um, I got into art full-time and because of what it did for me how much it helped me when my mom passed away and while she was sick she had Alzheimer's and so um, it just became such a needed part of my life to have some I guess we call it me time for me, it was uh, God time because I use that time. I didn't usually ever turn on any music and I really still don't. I pretty much just use this time when I'm creating to pray and and just paint. And it is so relaxing. When I'm done, I can face the world. You know, it just really, it just does something to use a different part of your brain. Yes, Michelle, you can. Girl, you can. Okay, so now we have our, you know, kind of our picture down, but we need to zhuzh it up a little bit is what I call. So we're going to take our green, put a little bit of yellow with it, put a little bit of white with it, and come in here and give our leaves a little color. Crafty community. Oh, I know it does, Sydney. It really does. Um, yeah, I mean, and Cheryl's just such a sweet lady and we, you know, we, we can't take away what she's having to go through, but we can sure kind of be here to support and to let her know how much we all care. And cards do that, you guys. So, you know, we kind of need to bring that back because I feel like, you know, with Hallmark and everything, things got too expensive and we all kind of quit and, you know, women are working full time. And, and so it just kind of isn't as popular as it used to be to send cards. But we need to do that again. And you can just make your own for pennies. And I'm not kidding. And then a stamp is, I don't know, 60 cents now or something. So for under a dollar, you're totally giving somebody a blessing. Okay. We're still going to lighten it up more, so I'm going to take more white. Kind of do the same thing, so I just didn't make quite enough with some yellow, green, and then a lot of white to really lighten it up, and we'll have a nice highlight here. Yeah, it is, Brenda. You know, our shut-ins in particular need Happy Mail. They just do. They are from that era of sending cards, and so it's hard for them to understand, you know, that that they spent years sending cards to people and they're not getting cards. Not that they, you know, obviously did, they didn't do it for that reason, but, um, you know, we do need to think about what is important to them and what lifts their spirits because it's so easy for us as creatives. We can easily do that. So we got to just make the time. You know, if you have extra paint on your palette, go ahead and add it in. But you see how the layers is what kind of makes it come to life, in my opinion. Yes, let's get it going, Trisha. We can, I mean, I, I'm all in. I've just had so much fun with the ATCs. And um, so I'm probably going to keep it going somehow. So you guys... Join with me. If you want to send me one, you can go to my website, artgracepaint.com, and just sign up. There's a sign up right there when you get on, and you can send me one. I'll send you my address and some helps. You know, it's some things that can help you, like you can print and, um, and use. And then, so when I get your card, I turn around and send you one of mine. And um, it's just fun. I'm just adding a little bit of yellow in here because why not? It just brightens it up, makes it look happy. I think yellow is one of those happy colors. I'm going to grab my plum and I'm going to come over here and tap, tap, tap all around this circle. 
This is whimsical, so it, oh, I just got a lot of water in there by accident. Um, I forgot I do have paper towels. I started to say I'm out of paper towels, but I do. I got some. And then just tap around so that it's kind of an uneven look around that circle. Let's move on over here. Technology. Oh, oh yes, absolutely. It does, for sure. Because here's the thing that I've thought about is for us younger people, and I'm not young, but you know, younger people, um, it's, we're texters, right? We're tech, we text, or we'll just pick up the phone. But for the most part, lots of us are texters or messengers. You know, we use message, Facebook, you know, Telegram, whatever, WhatsApp. But our older population isn't doing that. They don't have the first clue about that stuff. Maybe they're scared of it too, you know, and I, I, don't, I don't blame them. As you age, you kind of, things that you don't understand are scary. So we have got to be the ones that still send cards to them. Nobody else is going to, so you guys join with me and let's do that. So just tapping around here, all around that circle. I'll give some of these away too, because I do, I've got some of these um, pink sunflowers that I'm doing. And so you send me one and I will send you one. In fact, you can, requ if you want to send me an ATC, then when you do, just tell me which one you want. I've got a jillion that I've done on my page. So you can go look and see and just choose one. And if I still have it, I'll, I'll give it to you. Okay. Then this one. Thank you, Inga. Yours has gone out. Yours is out there. Also, I know some of you may be new to me. If you're wondering, because I, I say a lot that the brushes will do the work for you. I do have an Amazon page where I've got all my favorite art and craft supplies, but mainly art supplies. Um, I do a lot of glass art, too. So if you're wondering anything about my brushes or anything, you can definitely ask me. But also, you can go to that Amazon page. You can get there from my website, too, and, um, and see the things I use. I don't like to gatekeep. I like to help you guys be successful, too. So just tap, tap, tap all the way around. <gasps> she can't read cursive. Isn't that funny? So we do have a secret language as adults. That's hilarious. Yeah, they just text and stuff. Okay, we're not done, guys. We are not done. Now, this part, this part is pretty much finished. So this is what my cards sort of look like. But let me kind of put a heat to them. I want to dry this paint, and it doesn't take long for it to dry when they're this small. And on watercolor paper, watercolor paper, um, things dry really fast because it absorbs a lot of water. And by the way, if you're wanting to use watercolor paper, you want to look for a 140 pound weight. That is the go-to. That's the best quality. Um, if it's, you know, you can use mixed media paper for this also, but um, using a heavy paper will be best. Or just painting on your cards if you want to paint on the actual cards. Have y'all had dinner yet? Yes. Keep on sending your messages to Cheryl right here, you guys. She'll read these comments. And I have a feeling she'll read them tonight or, you know, tomorrow when, you know how she is. She's, man, she's a go-getter. And she, you can't keep her down. So the minute she's feeling better, she'll be on here wanting to see what you guys said. So if I'm just kind of touching up where I didn't cover too good right there. 
All right, so here I'm going to show you the next step. The next step is take a micron pen or whatever you have. Um, I just got some new pit pens in, but I'm going to use my micron. This is what I've used forever. Just micron pens work great. And you can do anything, but I like to add a lot of scribble kind of things to this. Thank you, Dawn. How are you tonight? Hi, Jennifer. Thank you for sprinkling, Dawn. I cannot thank you enough on behalf of Cheryl. You ate some coconut shrimp. Oh, oh that sounds so good. That's one of my favorite things. Hi, Mayor. How are you tonight? You had dinner at 7.35 in New York. So yeah, you're, you're uh, kind of down for the night, probably. Finish dinner and clean in the kitchen. I'll eat as soon as I'm done. Yes, isn't it funny? These kids that don't know cursive. So I'll, I'll take this pen and just come in here and go around my petals or whatever. Now this is optional. You do not have to do this, but I like the way it looks. And on these whimsical little cards and things like that, I think it's cute. I'll show you, you know, here in a second, I'll show you what this looks like and then you'll see the plain ones and you can let me know what you think. But I just think it kind of adds a lot and it's fun to kind of scribble on these. So I do get pretty scribbly. Like see how I'm kind of going back and forth, back and forth a few times. That's just my style and how I like to do them. But you can do it really neat if you want to. There's no right or wrong way. Um, I'm going to write a Bible verse on one. And my handwriting is not the best. But do it anyway, because the person you give this to will love it. They won't care. Oops. Oh, I just messed that up. So I was thinking it was first John, but it's Luke. Let's see if we can make this work. L-U-K-E. <laughs> That's okay. 137. Luke 137, and then sign your name. So there's your first ATC card, you guys. You saw how easy this was. You can do this. Hey, Nana, glad you're here. Small, yes, Michelle, they are. Oh, Inga, bless you. I'm so sorry. Inga lost her sister-in-law, and I'm so sorry about it. It's so hard. Oh, it's so hard to lose somebody we love. Now tell me what you guys think. Do you like the Micron pen here or do you like it plain? Let me know. In fact, you can just do hearts if you like it and then I'll know what you're saying. Thank you, Brenda. Thanks, Deborah. You like the scribble? Scribble, scribble. <laughs> Yes, Mayor, absolutely. I, t I was saying when I first got on, she, I'm, I've just, she's been on my mind like every minute of the day. I just adore her. I think most of us do. I'm seeing a lot of hearts. Yes, okay. We're going to keep going then because I like it personally. And you see, go quick. It's okay, y'all. It's not meant to be perfect. It's whimsical, whimsical, fun art. So just go quickly. Don't overthink it. Oh, and, and here you can do something fun. Like sometimes I'll add like a spot like this, like a little spiral for a center of a flower. But since I've got that, you know, I just kind of come out a little bit like so. So be whimsical with it. And, you know, you can play around and see what you like. But this is what I mean about scribbling. You know, I'm just kind of going back and forth and Do we like the Bible verse on it? Or do you want one without? You like them, Dawn? Thanks, Jerry. Hello, Crafting Time. What's your first name? Yes, Michelle. I know, listen, and and uh, sweet Cheryl would be the first one to offer to help me. She would, I don't have one doubt. She'd be right there saying, what do I need to do? I'm there, you know. She probably offered to coordinate it. So, um, gosh, I'm just more than honored to, to be here for her. We will send these out. So I'll send her a card. I'm going to actually make her a card. I probably don't have time. 
Yeah, we've already been on a while. Um, I, I got out these, this, and we could probably do one. I got out watercolor cards to, to do for her. So it's, you know, an actual card that you buy, and then you just paint on it, and it comes with envelopes. Um, where did I get these? Michaels, I believe. Cricut is the brand, you know, like this is, you can run them through a Cricut machine, I guess, but that's where, I think I got them at Michael's. I, I, I'm almost sure, but yes, that's a great one too. But, you know, think about your little elderly neighbor getting this in the mail. Wouldn't she be happy? Or he. I mean, it could be for a man as well. Then on the back of these, you can... I have a printout that I give away. Let's see if one of these has it on there. Here it is. So most of them I just write on. But this one, I um, y'all may not like this card. It's a Texas card. So, so a lot of people are like, ooh, that's ugly. <laughs> but we do skulls and cows around here. Um, but it has where you can write, you know, if you titled it and the date, if there's a number, like maybe you made 20 and this is number 17, things like that. So um, that's a printout that I give. So anyway, if you want to sign up to send me one, I can send you all that kind of fun stuff too. So we've got two done. You can also, you know, uh, make these and leave them places. Maybe you go visit a nursing home or a hospital. Um, can you imagine being there in the ER and you look over and see this sitting on the table? I can't talk and write at the same time. Did y'all see me have to stop? Okay. So we got three of those done. We could probably do one of these really quick if y'all want to, but you may want to get off and go to the next. Let's see what y'all, let me know. Let me know. Wonderful embellishments. Yes. Yes. Many of these are, um, many of these cards are what I call mixed media. You know, where you put embellishments like this has wood stars and lace and ribbon, glitter. This one's got, um, this is leather paper, although it's very thin, but it is, like leather and then some construct or not cardstock down here painted you know you can do oh this one's really uh, decorated in mixed media style because it's got leather some beads like from jewelry and wood stars so metal i mean these can be anything you want it doesn't have to just be painted i have a, a jillion tutorials on these go for it does anybody else say go for it? Thank you, Denise, for sprinkling. Oh, wow. Oh, Michelle, yes. They will love it. They will love it. Let's see. I don't want to bore you guys. I guess we could do... Okay. Okay, I'll go. I'll go quick. Um... Let's see. Let's change up and do a little more yellow in this one, I think. So I'm going to put this down as my base. And you also, with this, since this is watercolor paper, let me grab my tape. You can put some tape down. This will be my first time to try this tape. We'll just go ahead and do it. Um, this came from Timu, so I don't know how it'll work. But typically, this blue tape you um you know you kind of want to be sure that it's good tape but yet doesn't pull off your paper so i'm going to put this down kind of hold it down onto this base so we're going to try this for the first time and i hope it doesn't pull the paper when we take it off but you can get some good quality watercolor tape to use um, but I think we're going to go for it here. Like I said, this is just Timu, so it was very cheap. Very cheap. And I thought, well, why not try it? I like to be a guinea pig. And, if you know, sometimes pretty much everything I've ordered from Timu has been excellent. I've only had a couple of things that I didn't like. And I'll tell you, if you tell them, 
they'll refund you. So don't be afraid to tell them you didn't like something. Okay, let's get some yellow. More yellow on this one. Y'all still here and talking to me? Hi, Francis. Vine and Silk, glad you're here. How are you tonight? Thank you guys so much for supporting Cheryl. Anything you do, where if you're sprinkling or anything, it's going to help her. And we, you know, I know she'll read the comments. She'll see who did the things. So thank you for doing that. That's going to be a blessing to her. Uh, even though this is watercolor paper, you don't have to use watercolor. I use acrylic paint on it all the time. I love watercolor and I do it some, but I don't love it near like I love acrylic painting. So acrylic painting is my baby. It's my go-to. So I'm always going to choose it over anything else. But you can do watercolor if you choose. But using the watercolor cards, they're really heavy, like 140 pound or so, and will hold your paint no problem. We're going to add more yellow in this one because the last, the, my first one I did had more yellow and it was so cheery. So that's what I want to go for this time. Add more yellow in here. Just streaks of the pink like that. That's like a pretty sunset. Some of you guys will post a picture of your sunsets and I always say please keep doing that. You know that's just putting beauty out there on Facebook and there's enough negativity in the world we need to spread that beauty so you know let your light shine. If you're a believer we know God made the beautiful sunsets and sunrises and I think it's important to put that out there and Give him the glory. Okay, I'm good with that. I'm going to dry this so that we can start our flower. And we're going to be done in 12 minutes. And we'll just give this, we'll give this one away and I'll make Cheryl her own. So I'll go back through and find somebody that's sprinkled and is here. And give it away. Yes, me too, Renee. Now, I haven't bought any clothes, but I've, everything that I've gotten, I've really had, I've just really enjoyed. Everything's been great. And I've done a few reviews. I've, you know, gone through and said, here's what I liked and here's what you could skip. You know, it's not like great. Or Dollar Tree has the same. Let me take a look. I'm going to add some pink back in. I really took out a lot. Acrylic paint, guys, you can just layer it up just till you like the look of it. Adding a little bit of white to my yellow. Yellow is a really translucent color, and adding a little white to it sure does help. Not much, just enough that. Okay, that's better. Now, let me dry that. Thank you, Elizabeth. Oh, good to know, Tricia. Good to know, because they're sure cheap. You know I'm not on Pinterest. Tricia, what? Get on Pinterest so you can follow me, and I'll follow you. I love Pinterest. I... I put pretty much everything I do over there. Okay, that's good. I'm going to keep the tape on so we can um, finish doing our design. And i got to hurry because I want to be done so you guys can go support somebody else. But I know Cheryl's going to be so thankful that you were here. And she can hopefully read lots of messages because that makes you feel good, you know. It makes you feel good that people wanted to be here to show their support. Now, remember I said this is Rolling Hills of Tennessee, so we're going to do a couple of hill looks here, covering up all our pretty paint, but that's okay. Okay. 
Did I see Tamara? Well, I see somebody saying hello, Tamara's Designs. There she is. Hi, Tamara. Glad you're here. Thank y'all for coming in to Cheryl's page as yourself because that allows her to get her monetization. You know, Facebook will show us an ad, but if you're coming in as your business page, it does not. And the hours that you watch, I'm not sure that they count for her. But anyway, I appreciate when people, you know, it's something that we just learned recently. We didn't know to do that, but now that we know we want to do it and help each other, you can take your brush and kind of do this and give it a little funky edge, or you can keep going and, and make little trees if you want to do them uh, taller. But I think sometimes it's fun to give it a little rougher edge than what you get if you're just going smooth with your brush. So that's just optional. Okay. Now let's get out our colors that we, we've got the plum. I need the fuchsia. Brenda, how are you tonight? Have I seen you on here? I think I have. Now I'm losing track of who I've seen. So forgive me. You know, the old brain isn't like she used to be. Okay, watch how easy, guys, and how quick. Simple, rough little circle. Covering over the green, I am putting a little white in here with this, and that will help cover that green. It will definitely need more than one layer, so that is okay. But having the right brushes is so important. You can spend a lot less time trying to get a pretty painting. Oh, yes, thank you for leaving her the message, Tamara. I appreciate that. I do want her to be able to get on here and, and get encouraged and, you know, feel good and lift it up. She is so good about doing that for everybody else, right? Just using a little detail brush here. My favorite little brand I get on Amazon. And then we're going to grab a little bit of yellow. Remember how we did that? Put a little yellow in here. And that just brings out that background. And while we let this sit here and kind of dry, we're going to do a little bit to our ground. And actually, let me do a little bit to the ground and then I'll show you something else we could do to that. So let's take that green and move over here. Still got a little bit of black here, I think. Can grab and put with that. If you'll mix some green and black, you'll get a, like an army green if you do enough black. A really dark green. And just kind of come in here and put some movement in this ground and also use that for the stem. Y'all still here? <laughs> oh, Trisha, you're kidding me. You mean lately? It ended on July 31st, I believe. 
So if it was after that, I don't know if it's still, I mean, it's great. It doesn't matter, but I don't know that you'll get credit is I guess what I'm saying. But that's fantastic. I mean, this, this is a, you know, I would love to do it year round, but I don't want to wear people out. I want people to be excited about it. So I think, you know, doing it in June is good. Um, but it is, I'm always doing things year round myself, but I don't want to put that on other people. I'm just so grateful that people will help when June comes around, you guys. Oh my goodness. It's such a huge blessing. If you haven't been a part of the Alzheimer's, Creatives for Alzheimer's, oh goodness, you guys, please do this coming next time. I would love for all of you to help me. Okay. I know I'm going to run out of time, but I'm not even looking at my watch yet. I'm just going to kind of finish adding my little details in here. Get this how I want it. Oh, that's so cool, Trisha. So did you get to pick a gift? You know, I think if you, you know, make a certain amount or raise a certain amount, then then you get to pick, you know, a, it's like a coffee mug or, you know, if you're lucky, it's, it's nothing big, but that's not why we do it. You know, who cares? Okay, let's take that green. Remember how we mixed a little yellow and a little white and maybe a little more white just a touch. Hey, Mary Tao, how are you today? Glad you're here to support our friend. Thank you for being here. I've been asking everybody, just leave her a message. She'll read this. She'll probably read it tonight, knowing Cheryl. And Cheryl, we love you. And Mike, we pray that you're not in pain. So many of us have prayed for you all day, and we're here for you, sister. You are not alone, as Justin says. Okay, let's see. We got two minutes. Um, oh my goodness, two minutes. I may go over a second. Because here's what I want to show you, what you could do if you want to. You can come in here and put some little bitty sunflowers in the distance, like they're growing way over here up on this hill. And for that, they would be super blurry. So you can just, oh, a lot of water. Hold on, clean that brush. When you dip your water, your brush in water, a lot of, sometimes water will kind of hang on this ferrule part, this metal part, and then drip on your painting. So I forget myself to dry that off. So we're just going to tap around a little of this pink. So we put, put the dark plum in the center. I'm tapping around a little pink in the, around that. You notice how fast we're going. We are not trying to be perfect. We're trying to be whimsical. Okay. And then take that lighter pink next and go a little bit around that. And it gives you the illusion of flowers back there because that's all you need is just the illusion there. You know that they're little flowers. We could even tap a little yellow down on there. Oops, that was a lot. That was a lot of yellow. Okay. Let's dry so we can use our micron pen. Yes, if you happen to be new to this page, my name is Deb with Art and Grace, and I'm only filling in for Cheryl. She had a pretty major surgery today and is going to be out for the week. Well, for most of the week. She probably will be back by the end of the week, guys. Uh, but listen, you will love Cheryl. Cheryl is a crafter. She can do anything and make it look beautiful. So if you need things for your home or for gifts, or maybe you even sell things, you know, maybe you craft and sell. She is a, a great one to watch. So be sure that you follow her page. 
Her husband, Mike, helps, and he is fun to know. He'll tease you, and you'll tease him back, and he's a great guy. So be sure to give her a follow. You will not be disappointed, you know. You can always unfollow, but you want to meet Cheryl if you're new here. And this is my sketchy, sketchy, you know, stuff that I do here. Just really imperfect, whimsical, putting some marks back into this with my micron pen and then we'll leave this one like it is and i'll write something inside or actually i will let you if you want to write that bible verse then you can do that or you can leave it plain or you can write your favorite you know i will put my initials down here we're going to take off this tape and see how it turns out. Like, let's find out together if this tape is worth it from um, Timu. Look at that. Now, I did use my heat tool on this, and that will cause it to kind of stick. So, But actually, that worked fine. Um, it's not the best tape I've ever had because you can see a little bit of bleed through, but for the price, I would buy it again. I don't hate it. What do y'all think? Is that okay? And what I would do, thank you guys, what I would do since it did that is my little whimsical line, you know, my little sketchy line, Now, if you paint one of these, you do not have to do this. This is just my style. This is what I do. It's just kind of who I am. And you can leave that part off if you don't like it. Just kind of give that a little extra border with the black. And there we go. So we did one, two, three, four. Let's give a couple away. I'm going to, you guys be nice, because I'm just going to do my very best. You know, I'm going to scroll through and stop. And I'm looking for somebody who has sprinkled. So it will, if you've sprinkled publicly, it's going to have the little arrow, the little hand and arrow. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to hopefully land on somebody. I'm going all the way to the top. And then I'm going to kind of come back and stop on Brenda Moon Flinders. And yes, she has she has, let me write this down, the hand. Thank goodness, because that would have been hard if, if she didn't share. Brenda, thank you for sprinkling this out. I'm going to find another one. So I'm going to do the same thing where we go up and come back. And I've got, Cheryl did not. I, if I don't see the little hand, I'm going to the next. Kelly Rice. Kelly Rice said, lovely card. Thank you, Kelly. I will send you guys, um, I'll send you a card and a, and a ATC card. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Cheryl is going to appreciate every one of you. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Donna and Deborah and Marsha. I appreciate you guys. Oh, Kelly, I didn't even realize I came all the way to the bottom for you. <laughs> Um, I appreciate you guys being here. I know she does too. And come back all week long and support everybody who's going to be helping her and just continue to pray for her healing and, um, and for her and Mike both because it will be a rough week, I'm sure. We appreciate you guys and also come see me sometime. I'm on Art and Grace. So just click that little link up there and come see me too. But we are thankful for you and for this community. Have a great night, guys. Bye-bye.